Uh, measures to tackle England's housing problem are to be unveiled today, including what kind of homes are built, where they're built and for whom and how quickly they'll go up. Now, we're talking to Sanjay Javid about the government's long-awaited white paper. will be announced in Parliament today and one of those ideas is more flat pack or modular housing. So, Ben? A bit like this. Yeah, he's having a little look at the prefab business. Good morning to you. Where are you, Ben? Yeah, morning guys. Welcome to uh, the uh, Derbyshire, uh, this factory where they build these. And believe it or not, this is a prefab. The oven's already in, the hob's already in, there's even a fridge already installed. All the plumbing, all the electrics are done on site here in a factory. So come with me outside because you'll get a sense of where we actually are. That's obviously the ground floor of what they call a modular unit. Well, Kate's with me and Melanie from the British Property Foundation. Kate's an independent property expert. Kate, good morning. We're looking at this. Um, it's modular. It's built in a factory. Is this the answer to our housing problem? It's one of the answers to our housing problems. At the moment, we've got five years to build a lot of homes and by building them in factories, getting them on site quicker, putting them up, particularly with the lack of skilled labour we have, this is definitely part of the solution. Uh, Melanie, we're looking at these houses going up and we hear that house builders, the traditional house builders, aren't building enough. Why not? Well, I think there are two barriers. And the first is uh, we need to get more land available with planning permission and with the infrastructure that supports housing. And the second is we need to drive new investment into the sector. We know there's up to £50 billion available to drive into rental sector and we need to get that money unlocked and delivering houses. Good stuff, Melanie. Kate, thanks very much. Well, this house is finished, so uh, it's going to be delivered. So let me shut the door because that one's going up. It's going up and it'll get lifted onto a truck and sent out. Chris is the boss here. Chris, good morning. So good we're seeing this one's already out. Where's it going and what's it going to be used for? Uh, this is one of the modules that's going to a development in North Shields for Urban Splash. Within two weeks, the house will be lived in. So, and it's eight weeks from when you start building these things until they're going out on the roads up to the housing estates where they'll be situated. That's exactly right, yes. We look at Prefab, they've got a bit of a bad reputation, maybe after the war, not the best reputation for, for building, but these ones are robust, you're trying to change the image of Prefab housing. We certainly have, these are architect designed, high performance buildings, they're comfortable, they're smart, they're very low energy usage, so they're perfect for the modern century. Now if people are looking at this, talk me through the lifespan of something like this and whether you can get a mortgage on what is essentially a, a, a building built in a factory put together with you know, strong material but it's still prefab. Yes, these have got the same lifespan certification as traditional builds and a panel of lenders have been organised to organise mortgages for people that want to get a mortgage on these properties. OK, good stuff, Chris. Nice to see you. Well, this thing's off. I'm going to try and get out of the way because it's looming above me. As I said, this is the ground floor. They can build them up to three or four storeys high. So this one will be sent out on a truck just waiting outside and it'll be sent up to North Shields and the next one coming down the production line. It's fascinating to see the process in action here and it could be, as you said, one of the solutions to our housing crisis. Thank you very much. It's interesting, isn't it? And they look good from the inside as well.